Hello, I'm Tim and I have too many books. This video is due to come out the day before Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. So I thought I'd look into Queen Elizabeth II as she's featured in fiction. Uh, there aren't that many of these books. Most of the books from the lists I could find are biographies and uh, so there, but there are a few interesting uh, pieces where she's featured as a main or major character in books. Now I've avoided children's books where the protagonists end up going to tea with the Queen. There do seem to be rather a lot of these but I've got a small selection here of books that might be worth looking into. We start with Queen and I by Sue Townsend. This was written in 1992 and features the idea that the Queen is um, removed from power by a Republican government who send her to live on a council estate and basically live off the dole. Uh, it's quite an interesting story and I remember it causing a bit of a stir at the time because I don't think there were that many depictions of the Queen or Queen Elizabeth II before this. Uh, Sue Townsend's best known for her books uh, The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, age 13 and three quarters and subsequent sequels which take him up into his middle age. Uh, I'm looking forward to this book. It was put on television, the f film of The Queen and I was put on television in 2018 with a rather interesting looking cast, so that might be worth catching. Adrian Mole is on my TBR, so I will be probably also reading this at some point. The next book is The Uncommon Reader by Alan Bennett. This was written in 2007 and is about the Queen visiting a mobile library and picking up a book by a Ivy Compton Burnett and then beginning a writing journey where she begins to explore uh, the great wealth of literature available. Uh, Alan Bennett is famous for a play that he wrote called A Question of Attribution. It is particularly uh, interesting because it is the first depiction of the Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II on stage and the, the play itself is about Anthony Blunt, who was the surveyor of the Queen's pictures, but also a member of the infamous Cambridge spy ring, uh, Philby Burgess and Maclean, if you know the names. He confessed in, to his spying in the 60s, was thoroughly debriefed by MI5 and was monitored almost for the rest of his life. And yet he managed to become the director of the Courtauld Institute, which is a, an art institute, and also this surveyor of the Queen's pictures. And the play deals with this idea where he encounters and where Anthony Blunt encounters and talks to the Queen. I remember seeing this on stage in the early 90s, uh, which and where it featured Prunella Scales playing uh, Queen Elizabeth II. And again, probably the first person to depict Queen Elizabeth II on stage. The next book is The Windsor Knot by S.J. Bennett. This is from 2020. Uh, this is essentially, as far as I can make out, the Queen does Miss Marple. So, you know, she investigates crimes uh, with the help of one or two um, of her staff, but she's really using her intuition the way that her intuition and her knowledge of human nature that Miss Marple does, as far as I can see. Now, I, I'm about to read one of these books in the next few weeks, so I'm looking forward to it quite a lot. There are three books in the series, and I'm not sure if there are going to be any, any more. The fourth book we have is Mrs. Queen Takes the Train by William Kuhn. This is a 2012 book uh, which features the Queen basically deciding to go out for the day and explore her country. Uh, does look rather interesting. It is a little bit worrying because it's written by an American and if the past few days, as I, I make this film, have told us Americans have difficulty understanding what the royal family and royalty is all about. So. Uh, yeah, I, I always worry about this, but it does seem to have very good reviews and he does seem to be somebody who knows what he's talking about and has written a lot of um, bi sort of straight biography. So it could be a, quite an interesting read. The last book is Princess Elizabeth's Spy by Susan Ella McNeil. This is written in 2012 and it's the second book in her Maggie Hope series, which started with Mr. Churchill's secretary. Essentially, it is a young woman 
who goes from being Mr. Churchill's secretary to being a kind of secret agent involved in secret stuff. And this time she takes on the role of Princess Elizabeth's tutor and obviously shenanigans take place. It's set during the Second World War. I'm due to read uh, Winston Churchill's, uh, Mr. Churchill's secretary uh, at some point in the near future. So I'm quite looking forward to this one as well. So that's my small list of books. Please put in the comments any books you might have found which feature Queen Elizabeth II in fiction. Um, I have, as I said, avoided biography. I've also avoided biographical fiction which might retell some of the true stories of her um, reign. I think there is one about Princess Elizabeth and uh, Philip Mountbatten and about their romance. I, I've avoid, I tended to avoid that kind of thing. I wanted, an I wanted a set of original stories here and I think I found some interesting books to look into.